glad you're back. Today, we're going to read another book by the author of Amazing Grace. We read this book weeks and weeks ago. It was about a young girl, and I think it was probably a kindergarten or first grade class in England who wanted to be Peter Pan in their school play. And you may remember, hmm, did she succeed? Yep. Today, that book we're going to read by the same author is called Princess Grace. And you're going, wow, that really looks like a Disney princess, doesn't it? Well, it turns out Grace and the girls and the boys in Grace's class learn that, hmm, the pink, fluffy, tiara-wearing princess is not the only kind of princess there is. Let's read. Princess Grace, written by Mary Hoffman and illustrated by Cornelius Van Wright and Ying Hua Hu. Grace had wanted to be a princess as long as she could remember. Most of her favorite stories were about princesses, like Snow White and Sleeping Beauty and the one who couldn't sleep on the pea. Some became princesses with the help of spells like Cinderella or Sleeping Beauty. Grace loved to act out those stories, making her Nana play the fairy godmother or telling her cat Papa he had to be the beast. So imagine Grace's excitement at school when her teacher announced the annual community festival. Every year, girls from all the local schools got to be queens in the parade, and this year there were going to be two princesses. At this year's parade, our float will be extra special, said the teacher. Our queen, who has already been chosen from the top year, had the idea to pick two princesses from our class. Well, after that, all the girls were twirling in their imaginary ball gowns and saying they were bound to be the parade princess. Especially Natalie. My daddy always calls me his princess, she said, so I'm used to being one. This made Grace sad for two reasons. She didn't like Natalie, and she didn't have a daddy of her own, at least not one who lived with her. The boys were pretty disgusted with the whole idea. Princesses are boring, said Kester. Grace rushed home, very excited, to tell Ma and Nana the news. So, so can I be a princess, Ma? she asked. A and will you make me a costume, Nana? Of course, honey, said Nana. If you can tell me what a princess wears, I can try to make it. And of course you can dress up like as a princess, Grace, said Ma. But that doesn't mean you'll get chosen to be in the parade. So Grace rushed off to get out all her storybooks to see if she could find out what princesses wear. Her best friends, Amy and Maria, came around to help. They didn't want to be princesses as much as Grace did because Maria didn't like being looked at and Amy didn't think her mother would have time to make her a costume. It must be pink and floaty with a train, said Grace. And a crown, said Amy. And a wand, said Maria. No, said Grace, that's fairies. Wings then, suggested Maria. Fairies again, said Grace. Or angels, said Amy. So, what am I making? asked Nana, confused. I don't know if it's a dress for a Christmas tree fairy or a bridal gown. It's a bit like all of those, I think, said Grace. Oh, I, I don't know. It must be very pretty. 
There's more than one way to be pretty, said Nana. I suppose it depends what she does, said Amy. I don't know, said Grace. What does a princess do, Nana? You tell me, darling, said Nana. But nobody could, except for wearing beautiful clothes and looking pretty. That doesn't sound very interesting, said Grace. She liked having things to do. Maybe Kester was right. You know what, said Nana. I think maybe you've been reading the wrong stories. Why don't you ask your teacher? So, that's just what Grace did. Her teacher took it very seriously and came back to class with a whole lot of stories about interesting princesses. Some were real ones, like Princess Amina of Nigeria, who led warriors into battle and built walls around all the villages, and Pingyang of China, who started a woman's army. Wow, said Grace, surprised. They sound more like soldiers than princesses. They wouldn't wear anything pretty while they were fighting, said Natalie. I don't want to be that kind of princess. But their teacher had found modern princesses, too, who were sportswomen or scientists or artists. One who had even been a spy. That's a bit more like it, said Kester. You could be one like that, Grace. Even the story princesses the teacher had found were not like the ones Grace thought she knew. There were Cinderella's from Egypt, Cambodia, and the Philippines, and a Zimbabwean girl called Nyasha, who was kind to a snake that turned into a prince. Grace felt less and less like being the pink and floaty kind of princess. She couldn't imagine making friends with a big snake and wearing a sort of fairy costume at the same time. Can't there be princes in the parade? asked Raj at lunch. Why does it have to be just princesses? And why just the pink and pretty sort, said Grace. Can't we have some of those other kinds from other countries? You've changed your tune, Grace, said their teacher. I thought you loved fairy tale princesses. Oh, I do, said Grace, but the others seem to have more fun now and all the other children agreed. Hmm, said the teacher. I believe we're going to have to think again about this parade. The moms and dads and grannies and babysitters all chatted at the school gates, and the word soon went around about princes and princesses. You need to decide, Grace, said Nana. Have you made up your mind what sort of princess you want to be? The kind that has adventures, said Grace, and I'd like to be an African one. Is there one from the Gambia? Can you find me a story? Hold on, said Ma. Have you been chosen yet? Oh, said Grace. No, I haven't. I forgot about that. No harm in being prepared, said Nana. Do you know any Gambia princess stories? Could ring your papa, said Ma. He might know. But Grace's papa didn't know any, nor did his wife, Jutu. It doesn't matter, Grace, said Nana. I could use some of that kenti cloth we brought back from the Gambia and make you robes fit for a princess. It won't be pink, said Ma. Will you still like it, Grace? There's more than one way of being pretty, said Grace. On the day of the parade, Grace's school had the most interesting float of all. But it was a bit crowded because of all the Japanese and African and Spanish princes and princesses. The whole class had been chosen. Maria didn't mind being looked at because she wasn't the only one, and Nana had made a dress for Amy, too. Raj was a Hindu prince, and Kester was a sort of English knight. Natalie was like a Christmas tree fairy in a pink and floaty dress. 
but Grace didn't want to be that kind of princess anymore. She was enjoying her West African kenti robes. Are you happy? called Nana. Yes, said Grace. I feel like a proper princess, ready for an adventure. The end. Well, Grace and the boys in her class certainly learned a lot about princesses, didn't they? They don't all look the same. They don't all come from the same country, right? There were princesses from Zimbabwe and China and Cambodia, and they don't wear the same kind of clothes. And princesses do more than just sit around smiling and wearing pretty clothes, right? And that they're real princesses, my goodness, they have amazing adventures like Grace wants to have, right? There was a princess who was a spy and princesses who play sports and princesses who are scientists. That's because each one of us is unique. Each one of you is unique, right? There's never been another person on earth that's exactly the same as you. You are special. And one thing that's special about you is that God loves you just the way you are. He doesn't care where you're from, where your family's from, what job you do. He loves you just because you are you. And that's really special, isn't it? To think that God loves us so much and he trusts us so much He's put us on this earth. So put us on this earth and our job is to figure out why are we here? What can we do that's special to help other people and to show God's love to other people, right? It's a tough job, isn't it? And I figure you guys can do it, right? So I'll see you next week. We'll read another cool story and hmm. It should be fun, right? Bye. Have a good week at school. See you next week.